Have you ever wanted to learn how to make dairy-free garlic bread? Because a lot of garlic bread out there is made with butter. And this is made with coconut oil. And this is a herb garlic deliciousness loaf of bread that is exquisite. If you're new to my channel, I'm Chef Cynthia Louise. I'm a whole food plant-based chef. And look at this glory. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you. There's a few tips and tricks here of how to wrap it up so the foil doesn't touch the food and all things and the whole house is smelling like garlic. I can't wait to share this with you. If you're new to this channel, subscribe below and you get my new recipes coming through to your inbox, which I love because I do that myself with other channels. Ding, 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 ding. I ring that little bell, click it, and every time someone has a new recipe, I'm like, thank you for letting me know. Anyway, let's make this together. I remember when I first made it, um, it was for somebody that was dairy free and they couldn't have butter. Um, and I made a beautiful herb garlic butter. I know, right? But have a look in here. I've got some lovely fresh oregano. This is a really good opportunity to grow herbs actually, because every time I look at herbs from the shop and that I think, ah, oh, you just need to put a pot of herbs on your, on your steps and you're good to go. And I've got some parsley, some Italian parsley and some rosemary and some oregano. If I had some thyme, I'd use thyme as well, but I don't. But um, yeah, I've got half a cup of coconut oil. Now just have a look in here. It's starting to solidify because it's cold, and which is totally fine, which means the actual oil is starting to get hard, which I want actually, because I want to put it in the fridge, but it's it's epic, It's it's it needs to set. So this is good, it's manageable. I can stir the herbs and everything in, which is awesome. And I've got my oven on piping hot at around about 180 Celsius, ready to go, nice and warm. I've got some unbleached baking paper and I've got some alfoil. And this is kind of my trick how I do this because the alfoil is going to hold it all in together, right? Check it out, hold the bread in together. And I've got my loaf of bread ready to go and what you want to do with your loaf of bread you just want to cut it and you don't want to cut it all the way through right you just want to cut it to there so it holds just on the bottom so I'm just dragging my knife down just like that okay just going to do that all the way and so that's ready to go I can smell the garlic already this is a real aha moment, aha moment for this person actually that I made it for because it's one of their favourite foods, garlic bread. <laughs> it's, I think it's everybody's, mm -hmm. most people's favourite food. Garlic, grater, great. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four cloves. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Now have a look at the other side of this grater, see what's happening, nice and thin. Like it's a very cool grater. It's called a microplane. They're fantastic. And they're nice and sharp. Okay, what I'm going to do is just tap this so it all comes out. Can you smell that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you want salt and you definitely want pepper. And you want to give that a little stir. I'm going to put that aside with the bread. And now you want your herbs. And I'm just going to take those amazing little baby leaves of the oregano. You could have or um, margarine. doesn't matter. Like I said, if you've got thyme, get some thyme in there. Hey, Sin, I, I tend to use dry herbs. What's the benefit of using fresh? Well, the, the fresh are more kind of mellow. Dry is a little bit... They're, they're dried for a reason. They're dehydrated, so they're more concentrated. You know what I mean? Mm. They're kind of like, Ugh! you know, they've got a they've got a different flavour altogether. Um, I want this mellow flavour coming through. So I would like you guys to have a good couple of tablespoons of chopped herbs. So what you need to do is take, put the herbs into a pile first with all those stalks off. And you want that parsley as well. This is really simple. This is going to change. And this sits in the fridge for a long time, like a long time. And if you're into this on some toast or if you're having avocado mash on toast or, or any kind of savoury toast 
or you're having a barbecue and you want to brush this over some yummy grilled corn. Fantastic for that. So I've got my parsley and my, sorry, my oregano, which I'm just going to watch what I do. This is what I teach at my retreat when you come to nourish. We learn how to do all these sorts of little tips and tricks. This is quite amazing. And if, you want to, if you're one of those humans that have my online cooking classes, then you'll see a lot of this in my classes, how we use herbs. So that's a good tablespoon, good two tablespoons of oregano and same with the rosemary. Look at this. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of oregano and I've got one tablespoon of rosemary and then I want a couple of tablespoons of the parsley. Now the parsley is going to just bring it home, make it really nice and fresh. All right, that's it. And now you want to get it and you want to put it into your... Come in, come in. Yes, come in. Put it into your... Um, I'm just making dairy-free garlic butter and you want to put it into your oil. Actually, it's a herb garlic butter. And this is where you want to taste it. Oh, my God. Okay, it's really good. And you want to get one of these little situations. And see how it's forming? It's not like oily, oily. Do you know what I mean? It's like a butter. It's, it's, it's pliable. It's not runny. And we want it to be like this. And then you just open up your bread. And I just cover one side all the way through like this. And just keep doing that. Oh, my mouth's watering just thinking about this. <laughs> See, I'm only doing one side? Mm. Yeah. Okay. You're very generous with it too. I'm very it's generous. I wanted to go through. I want to slap it on. And then I'm going to get it and put it over the top. And this is where you use your hands and a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more salt. And straight onto here. And then now we wrap it up. And like I said, my oven is on. It is on and ready to go. Get in there. Into the oven. And I reckon oh, 10 minutes max, maybe. Don't know, not sure, depending on your oven. I want it to be crunchy on the outside, nice and buttery and yummy and garlic on the inside. And I want it to be piping hot when I bring it to the table and I have my pasta with that man, the Italian behind us. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> and I think, this would be, I think this would be delicious. Yes. A bit different to butter. It's better for the arteries of the heart. It's better for our body to have something like this. And this is a once in a while. This is not every day. Okay. So 10 minutes and we'll take it out of the oven. It is ready and I can smell it. Can you smell it, Scott? Yeah, yeah. What does it smell like? Can you smell the coconut oil? No. No. I smell the herbs. Yeah. And the, and the garlic, right? And that's it. You don't smell anything else. Here we go, people. Here we go. <laughs> this is it. Look at this. Glory. Crunchy. Oh. Ah. Oh, and delicious. And I just want to open... A couple up so you can get an idea of how moist and yummy <laughs> this is. Are you salivating? Mm -hmm. And the reason why, you're probably wondering, why does she wrap foil around it in paper? Well, the foil holds everything in and makes everything yummy and moist and delicious. Oh. And the reason you protect oh. it with the paper? The reason why I protect the foil with the paper is because I don't really want foil on my food. Oh my god. It tastes like. I'm sorry. Scott's Scott fasting, so it tastes like I swear to God, garlic bread, herb garlic bread. I can't taste the coconut oil at all.
you can put as many and as much or as less garlic and herbs as you like. With this little loaf of bread, I used half a cup of oil, a couple of tablespoons of oregano, one tablespoon of rosemary, a couple of tablespoons of parsley, lots of salt. Mmm. It is delicious. Are you celebrating? Absolutely. Comment below. Let me know who in your family doesn't have dairy. Let me know how you go with this. How do you feel about this? One thing about the coconut oil is you don't want to buy coconut oil that's deodorized or refined. You want to buy pure cold-pressed virgin coconut oil because all the goodness is in there. Mm. I could pretty much have this with a big bowl of pasta and a movie on the couch. Sitting on the couch watching movie. It's a date. Well, with somebody not fasting. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. Yum. And that salt through it is beautiful. I will see you in another video. Share this with your friends. If you're a gluten-free, use gluten-free bread. Remember the little technique that I did. You don't want the oil to be completely runny. And if it is, put it in the fridge for a few minutes, like five or ten minutes, and it comes out a little bit hard so you can smear it on one side because one side was enough because look what happened. It soaked in to the other side. Look at that. Oh, I just want to eat it all. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, Scott, you poor thing. It's really crunchy too.